What's up, Jabroni? Steven here. Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we are hopping into Buffy the Vampire Slayer episode number 13 of season number three. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, head over to Patreon if you want the full, uncut, unedited reaction. Links are in the description if you want that. Because for some reason, my uh, Patreon can't be found if you actually go to Patreon. I'm considered a adult because of uh, certain shows that I do that show nudity. But makes sense. Uh, as always, if you like what I do here, like, comment, and subscribe. So last episode was helpless. Um, if you've noticed, I'm back. Uh, last episode, if, when you see that over there on YouTube, you'll know that. Hey, man, you weren't here. But I'm back. Uh, man, that, that on Patreon, that was an interesting episode because um, I think most, I'm going to say at least like 60 to 70% of you guys were very much on Buffy's side. Um and I wasn't even about size for me, but a lot of you guys thought that what Giles did was extremely fucked. And uh, although it was fucked and I didn't truly see the point of not telling Buffy about it or telling the Slayer about it, it's just in a world, like the world is the world that we've established. So I just kind of like, I'm like, oh, it just didn't surprise me. And you guys have said it's an old mentality masculine men telling a woman slick what to get i get all of that i understood all of that when you guys when i was reading about the same time like yeah but there's so many other weird rituals and ways that the slayer does things that don't seem to bother buffy as much so i guess for me when i saw it i was like oh yeah that makes sense we want to see her without the powers i don't i don't know i guess my thing is I don't see why we wouldn't tell Buffy. Like if you just literally, if you just told Buffy, "Hey, Buffy, there's something coming up. You're gonna have no powers. Um, it's just what it is. It's a ritual." I feel like she would have been understanding um, instead of just not doing it and making her feel like a weak, weak, weak individual. Um, I don't know. I, and a lot of you guys actually were very. When I said, "Man, Buffy said she would kill Giles," I was like, "Okay, man, that's a bit extreme." Some of you guys actually thought that that was not extreme. That was actually a good response. I don't know. I love that guy. I thought that episode was great. Um, I also love the bad guy that we killed, which sucked. Uh, but yeah, I, this is what I this is why I love. Like, I love reading the Patreon comments and love just seeing that kind of level of engagement in the episode because it's like so like the mindset of everybody's like how everybody interprets the episode is like awesome. Because, yeah, things that don't bother me will bother you. Things that bother you won't bother me. Uh, interpretations of how characters handle things. I mean, I like that's the that's the beauty and the best thing about doing this, honestly, is because I'm watching a show for the first time. I'm seeing it with I'm getting the reaction of people that have seen it um, in the comment section and seeing how they saw it one way at the beginning and then through time they've they saw it a different way and i think that the, the last episode was very much that like no you're making a you're purposely making a woman weak a little girl weak she's not even a, i mean she's 18 but weak but she turned 18 in that episode or this ritual weird game right and then my thing I, I looked at it as like well yeah this is a weird ass thing about a slayer but for you guys, you're like, no, this is messed up. It's some old school bullshit mentality that shouldn't be the way. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense, too. But again, I wasn't surprised by it. And then Buffy's interpretation of it all. I mean, it's very interesting. And now Giles isn't her watcher. So we're going to get some other watcher guy showing up or girl. I don't know. But we'll see. Like, I love it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction to that episode. But yeah, we're going to hop in here. Have a good time. Like, comment, subscribe. Pretty much. Let's watch the Zippo. Is the Zippo probably gonna be like a bad guy named Zippo? Here we go. Oh shit! Well, we're like a full-fledged team now. I'm fine. The, the shaking is, is a side effect of the fear. <laughs> well, if it wasn't for that clouding spell, yeah, it went good. Nothing melted like last time. Hey, Xander's here too? I'm good. Are you sleeping? We're fine. Just a little bit dirty. Did she? Good job, everyone. Did they throw you? Just great. 
If anyone sees my spine laying around, just try to stay alive. <laughs> Taylor, one of these days you're gonna get yourself hurt. Or killed. Or both. You want me starting something? What? Starting something? Like that Michael Jackson song, right? That was a lot of fun. Too high to get over. Yeah, yeah. Remember that fun song? Why is Xander? We're gonna kick your ass till it's a brand new shape. Then get out of here. Xander, you're the the useless part of the group. You're the Zeppo. The fuck cool. is a Look it up. It's something that a subliterate that's repeated twelfth grade three times has, and you don't. Something about this one that scares me. I need <laughs> my willow. Over don't the other. You girls need a lift. It's gonna be bad. Uh, I can't. I don't know, man. I just want Xander to get a win. Like, I get it. What he did was fucked, and you guys know how I felt about that. And he became like a very character I hated um, because of what he did. But I don't know. I don't want him to revert to this thing. Being like somebody who hates himself. And hit somebody, of course. And what to be Cordelia? Are you alright? Oh god. Ah oh, fuck, it's the bully guy. Please don't shit yourself. Punch this guy in the fucking face, man. He attack you? No. Just blowing off steam. Two guys wrestling. But not in a gay way. Come on, Jesus. boys! I wanted Xander to have <sighs> something. He calls forth the spirit of Earthu. Hey, you that zombie motherfucker from like two, like beginning of last season? Buddy, Bob, you big hideous corpse! Come here! Blood of the earth shall restore him. Oh Jesus! What happened? What happened to you, bro? There's something in the air. The stench of death. Yeah, I think it's Bob. <laughs> Me and my only called upon to fight when it happens. When what happens? Exactly. But they're always open for crime. Interesting. Okay. Now I'm involved in crime. <laughs> I'm the criminal element. Are you gonna bail me? Is that it? We got the bank mix. Where you want a bank? Xander's looking to leave. Have the fuck. Take we the fuck. Take the fucking car. Like he's part of the group. No, it's just I'm kind of busy. He doesn't feel like part of the group because he hasn't been initiated. Kill somebody. You gotta die. The fuck you ain't dead. How the hell is that a thing? You're not dead. You got a problem with dead people? What about Jack? Jack's not mm -hmm. dead. Holy shit! Drive by three weeks ago. Dude, Xander is about. To, dude, these dudes are trying to fucking murder Xander. What the hell? Shit, is this, is this face? Oh my god, wait, wait, where the fuck is everybody else? Face fighting one of these shits by herself. Well, maybe Xander hit her with a car. There we go, hit her. Hit her. Good shit, Xander. That's what I'm talking about. Hit her again. Hold me. She can. <laughs> He's got <gonna> it. <laughs> What the fuck is happening right now? It's just um, I 
I've never been up with people before. Don't worry. I'll steer you around the curves. Did I mention that I'm having a very strange night? <laughs> this is a very strange episode. I don't know if I love it or I don't know how to feel about this. I am so confused. What the f That was great. I got a shower. Aww. Uh, hit him. There we go. Is he trying to protect you? Maybe he's trying to protect you. Is he trying to protect you? What was he doing? I gotta move him before he wakes up. You're not baking any cake. <laughs> This is worse than anything we've ever faced. Me. It's the only way. I can't watch you die again. Oh my god, is that like a thing that's supposed to happen here? You may be ready to go, but I am not ready to lose you. Okay, this is my Why point. does this feel over and the if top? You don't do it my way, then you're <clears throat> Hey. <laughs> is is this meant for comedy? Right there? Like her over the top acting. I won't let you kill yourself. Okay, I'll give you enough time to get away. Like it's. I just gotta figure out what they'd be like in a bomb. It really, really hurts. <laughs> wow, look at look at Xander. It's in the boiler room. All right. Now I'm gonna ask you this once. Okay, you better pray you get the answer. Okay, okay. How do I defeat? No! Is he gonna save the day, but not get any? credit for it because nope. My God, it's grown. Dude, Xander's literally having a side story <laughs> while they're they're taking on the most dangerous thing they've ever fucking fought. Are you kidding me right now? I don't know how I feel about this. What an interesting choice. I'm just laughing at the fact that we're following Xander, but there's a fucking the biggest thing happening in the other fucking part of the school. Should have learned by now. If you're gonna play with fire, you gotta expect sooner or later. I wasn't finished. <laughs> Note to self, let's talk. Dude, are you shitting me right now? What a choice. How are gonna be? Where's the, up here, my, where's the guy with the three holes in his chest? Here he blows. I know what you're thinking. Can I get by him? Get up the stairs, out of the building, seconds ticking away. I don't love your chances. Then you'll die too. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, but this is different. You don't come back. Being blowed up isn't walking around and drinking with your buddies dead. It's little bits being swept up by a janitor dead, and I don't think you're ready for that. Holy shit. Twenty seconds. Hey, what the? F Sanders is gonna die? Oh, what the? He's gonna open the door and the demons are here. First time you turn your back. Oh fuck! It's fucking Oz. Holy shit! Wow. After the hell mouth was closed. No one will ever know how close it came to stopping. Never know what we did. Guys. Xander. What well, he did. Xander. Boy, you're lucky you weren't at school last night. It was crazy. I don't, I don't know what to say about this episode. It's either a, like, fucking amazing <laughs> or a disappointment. I don't know. <laughs> like, holy shit. Oh, man. I'm very curious to, to see what people think about this episode. I mean, I honestly think it's, it's like, really, really, it was a cool thing to do. I'm trying to think if I've ever watched a show that did this. Like, we have our main characters, right? And our main protagonist. And 
It's the biggest thing we've ever faced. Evil everywhere. It's the end of the world. But we're going to follow the other guy. And he's doing his own thing. And he's also got a, like a, a end of the end of the like a, a, a situation where people can die as well. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Um Ander had sex with Faith. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't even think, I don't even know if I can give this episode a score. Because on one hand, I fucking loved it. Like I loved the choices and the way that it handled just about everything. But on the other hand, you probably missed out on some really cool fight scenes. I kind of want to give the episode like a really solid. Oh, man, I don't know, man. What would I? Okay, give me a minute here real quick. Where would I rank this amongst the other episodes? Better than that. Better than that. Probably better than that. Better than that. Pan Candy is amazing. Amanda's is really good. Lover's Walk is really good. French is really good. Revelations. Damn, this season is fucking jam-packed with a mate. Look at great, great. Like, like literally, like the last like, like eight episodes have been. There's only three episodes this season that I think have not lived up to greatness. And I think that's Anne, Dead Man's Party. Actually, these four, the first four episodes. Maybe five episodes are the only other ones that I feel haven't lived up to greatness. Hmm. What I give helpless? Oh man, I don't know, man. I'm very curious to hear how you guys think about this episode because I want to give it like a nine. Because you guys know me, I love Xander. Like Xander is my favorite character in the show. I mean, Evil Angel is number one, but you know he's not around, so Xander is my favorite character in the show. He dropped a couple pegs for me because of the whole cheating on Cordelia situation. And yeah, I still fucking hate that. But what Cordelia did here was so uncalled for for me. It was so mean to him. And him, like him dealing with the emotion of, dude, I am literally the weakest link. I am the one that nobody needs. Then on the other hand, what a bold choice to have Xander lose his virginity to Faith. I don't know. I want to give it an eight. Leaning towards a nine. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm going to break it down real quick and we'll see how I feel. Um, so we start off. We're fighting. We're all doing. We're fighting some demons. Willow's there doing some cool shit. Faith is there, Buffy's there, even Giles is there. I don't even know what Giles is really doing. And then we find out Xander was there too. So my one thing that I have to say is, where the freak is the other watcher? I thought we were supposed to get another watcher. Giles is just around now, like, but there was no new watcher. So we're really just gonna be like, well, the, our, the Slayer has no watcher now. Doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Um. Xander was here, comes out of the rubble, turns out he's messed up. He's trying to, you know, act like he did something, but everybody's kind of saying, maybe you should stick around, like stay out of this next time, you know? All these kind of things. And what, man, these demons would have been so cool to like get to know. Um, all right. So, you know, the whole, the thing is like Xander is kind of like expendable. He doesn't really need anything. He doesn't bring anything to the, like, to the group. We then meet weird bully dude. And Xander acts weird here. And he's always acted weird with bullies, but he was like extra, extra wimpy here. Which I didn't love. I guess it makes sense because he explains it to Cordelia about it. And then Cordelia has to be mean and say, yes, because all the other monsters don't notice you because you're friends. And she points out the ones your friends is a witch, two of them are slayers, one's a werewolf. Giles is like this master watcher. And then there's you. Which is all interesting and very true. 
what does Xander bring to the thing? I mean, I guess he brings his wits and his heart. Like, he'll sacrifice himself for the, I mean, he brought all that before today's episode, but today's episode really highlighted it for us, you know? Uh, but Cordelia, man, she was full-fledged mean here. And I think it's well-deserved, honestly. Or maybe not. I mean, just move on. Let's fuck it. Like, don't even bother with Xander, you know what I mean? Don't even bother with Xander. He's a, he, what he did was fucked and everything, but you're going out of your way to be mean to him and hurt him. I don't know. Uh, he has a conversation with Oz. Oz is being weird here. He's saying about the cool factor and everything, and Oz is, you know, cool and being a, a certain way. And but Xander's really contemplating what does he bring to the crew? Um, we then have these people talking, Buffy and Zhao is about end of the world. They can be the most evil thing we've ever seen. See, so this is my thing, right? I, so much shit was happening over here that we didn't get full answers. So, you know what I mean? Cause they kept jumping back to Xander. And I think that was the point. We were supposed to be kind of just lost. And I think that's why I kind of like love the episode. It's because we are supposed to be like, what the fuck's happening over there? And that's exactly what it was. It was like, what's happening over there? I didn't love the zombie friend thing. That was weird. I guess that's my, that's why, man, I guess that's, that would knock it off a peg, I guess. I didn't love that. But I guess that was a way for Xander to kill a bunch of people. But yeah, we have this. We have the end of the world situation. These are talking about nightmares and dreams and let's keep Xander away. Xander needs a cool thing, so he gets his uncle's car, and he's trying to be cool, and then we have Cordelia being mean, because that's just what she is. Um, random girl. I thought she was going to be bad, because, you know, the show does that. We'll introduce a character, and they make them evil. Um, but no, she wasn't. She was just a weird car-obsessed girl who just was with the guy for the car. We have Angel show up, and... Xander's like, just save me, dude. I'll go do whatever. He's like, no, you stay back. We don't, we don't, we'll do it without you. Because like the evil things are after Xander, after uh, Angel. Then we have Homeboy over here, who Xander bumps his car into. Then we have this thing that uh, Oz is being un like crazy today and even like more unstable than normal. So therefore, kind of explaining something evil is afoot. Something is coming. Um, we then have this situation, which I, I thought it was going to be like Xander punching and beating this dude's ass and kind of like finding himself, which I think would have been a better, I don't know. I actually like what happened, but I hate the, I hate the raised rising of the dead thing, but whatever. Uh, Xander being that crazy. Then the cop shows up at one point, the dude brings out a knife. He respects him because he let the cop, he didn't tell the title on the cop and, we head over to get our friends. Turns out the friends are dead people and we're rising from the dead and it's weird and odd and the girl runs away and we're going to raise the rest of the guys. Turns out they're part of a gang, drive-by shootings, shots to the head, murder, all this stuff. Then, <laughs> it's just so weird. While that's, while we're, while like this crazy shit here is happening, Xander's just walking, hey, Giles, uh, what are you doing over here? <laughs> oh, the end of the world. Oh, chaos. Down upon the living earth. Oh, my. It's like all this crazy shit. And then Xander walks by at the end of it. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> it's just weird, but I like it. It's weird. Like, even my man here got his ass whooped by something. He's like, I deal with a lot of evil people, but these are the most dangerous things I've ever seen in my life. If I were you, I'd go with Angel and go off and be happy. Like, what the fuck is happening? Then we hop back to partying, guys, breaking into a warehouse. Uh, we run into Willow, and Willow's doing, like, Willow's doing the, I love you. Thank you, Xander, hugging, because she believes that it's the end of the earth. It's over. Everybody's going to die. So this is why it's hard for me to judge this thing, because it's like, in on their side of what's happening... It's building up this fucking intense, intense thing that we're not seeing. Just every character's reaction is like, oh, my God, it's the end of the world kind of thing. It's, oh, man, I think I love it. I don't know. I think I love this episode because it's so bold. It's so bold, man. All right, so Xander wants to get away. Turns out Homeboy's been dead. Xander runs away. And I was like, man, Xander was going to be murdered here. What would they have done? He just died. He gets away. Then we see Faith. 
um, fighting and, you know, trying to fight the demon by herself for reasons. I, this was weird. I don't know why Faith was by herself. That was odd. Very odd. Was she on her way to the thing? But then again, Faith is always a loose cannon, so I guess that makes sense. Um, Xander saves her. They run away. They run to Faith's hotel room, and Faith then is, like, extremely turned on and wants to have sex. Because, you know, things. And Xander's like, wait, what's happening here? And it just kind of happens. And we have sex. And Xander lost his virginity to Faith. Not sure how I feel about that. How do you guys feel about it? <laughs> uh, then Faith kicks him out. You were used. Um, werewolf, tranquilizer. Then Xander's trying to figure out where these guys are doing. Oh, this part right here where he's like looking through the stuff. He's like, wait a minute. They're not baking cake. <laughs> uh, he's trying to find where they're at. So this part right here, you guys know how I feel about Angel and Buffy. I'm just not a fan. I just don't care about it, whatever. But then there's moments where I care about it and I understand. I got, there's moments I care about it and I understand. Well, there's moments I care about it and then there are other moments where I understand what's happening and like how characters feel. But then this, when it, when it, came, when it happened, I was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> like what? This whole thing. But then we have to remember, we just we usually follow Buffy and we see the whole build up to this moment. But here we don't. We're just Xander showing up and we don't see what the fuck happened, what led to this. We don't know what he's saying. Like, we have no idea. So it kind of makes this part, it made me laugh and chuckle because I'm like, Wait, what the fuck is happening? But I think that's the point is that it's kind of like, it's kind of like the show's playing up on the tropes and we're Xander who have no idea what's going on. I don't know. This might, um, I don't know. This might be in my top 10. <laughs> it's so bold. It's so weird. It's so out there. Then we have this thing and like even this part. Um, I'm going to light it and then you run away. You heard what I said. Like it's so intense. And we have the bomb. Sander over here, you know, grabbing one dude. His head falls off. Sander falls off. It's in the boiler room. We're trying. And while everything is going to hell, they're fighting a fucking the thing from season one that came out of the ground. The first thing that comes out, we're fighting it again. And you see Xander run by and they're looking for him. They split up and Xander actually kills, has killed two people here because he kills yeah, two people because he killed um dude that he, the zombie guy that he beheaded. And then this thing, that he throws the thing on top of him. Then we have this thing. We're running. And then the demons show up and the demons murder him. And then we go to the basement and a fight ensues. And then Xander literally comes up and says, you know what? You have all this stuff that you want to do, but are you going to do it in 49 seconds? Because uh, we're going to die. And the guy's like, I'm not afraid of dying. And he's going to keep, you know, go. The Sanders says, yeah, but this is being blown up into little bitty pieces and all this other stuff. And I don't know, man. Interesting. I just, I love seeing Xander and like this thing where he's all, Xander accepted death here. He was willing to look death in the face and he's like, I'm willing to die right here. Like, that's a big thing. That's a big, bold move. Um, We then, you know, the guy doesn't, the guy ends up diffusing it because he doesn't want to die. And then he's like, Sander, big balls here says, I don't ever want to see you run to school again. And the guy talks smack, opens the wrong door, and Oz, uh, yeah, Oz kills him. <laughs> like, straight up, Oz. Murders my man, Ooh, dead. And then we hop to the, and then we hop to the next day. Oh man, that was the craziest thing we've ever faced. It's the end. It's over. I mean, we 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 saved the day. Everything could have gone super bad. They're all hurt. They're all fucked up. And Xander comes, and then you know the Oz. I'm extremely full today because he ate the guy. Then we have um. Xander showing up and them like, good thing you stayed around away from the school. It was crazy. Things were getting, you know, we, we would have died. And then we have Cordelia and Xander smiles here. I don't know what it means though. How, what, how do you guys interpret what happened here? He looks at Cordelia and he smiles. Like, is he smiling because he had sex? Is he smiling because now he he understands how bad like how much he is like what what he brings to the team and i think a lot of what xander was going through was he doesn't feel like he brings anything because they always use him for small things but i think what happened in this episode was xander realized if 
if they needed me, I can hold my own and I can actually help them. I don't know. But yeah, that's the episode. And like I said before, I don't know if I love it, which I think I do. Or if I like it or if I don't. It's it's an episode that I'm sure many for some people it could be looked at as a great episode for some as a mediocre and for some just not good. Um, So, yeah, that's my reaction. I'm more leaning towards I love it. Uh, but I fully understand if you guys weren't. But yeah, if you guys like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reaction. You get episodes extra early over there if you want them. If you don't want them, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, and I'll talk to you guys later.